What's up, YouTube? Red Zone 101. It's a beautiful day here in Detroit, Michigan. It's about 80 some degrees. Thought I'd get a little comfortable and still try to keep it a uh, PG. Anyway, hey guys, in my last video, I told you about a air gun that I was uh, looking to get um, that I wanted to do a review on. Actually, I wanted something that was going to go with my Berna HD launcher. I really, those of you that have subscribed and that have viewed, have viewed my channel know that I really like this. I think it's a really good non-lethal self-defense option. Um, it um, shoots a .68 caliber round, uh, nylon, plastic, what have you. It also shoots uh, pepper rounds or, uh, or else the max rounds that have um, tear gas, pepper mix, what have you, uh, pepper powder, not gas powder excuse me and uh really uh, i really like this one i've modified mine a little bit but that said i want it so, oh and he uses 12 gram co2s five round mag i've ordered the seven round mags can't wait for those to get in to do a review on them but i'll but that's another video anyway i wanted something to go with this um this is great for carry um you know put in a bag holster like what have you but i wanted something else to partner with this, a companion that has a little more oomph. Now, granted, and still keep it non-lethal for, for the most part. Okay, so let's put that down. And let me show you what I finally decided on. This is an offering from Humorex. Just got it in. We're going to do an unboxing now, and I'm going to show it to you. That, that, good to go. Opening it up, and right here. Also, I just thought this just looks so cool. I just had to have it. <laughs> okay, I want to put that in there. Okay, this right here is a Humorex HDS. Um, basically, it's a .68 caliber home defense shotgun. Uh, normally, the one in America has seven jewels. Strength wise, this here has 16 joules. Now, I've even heard of people modifying these up to 20 joules, and that's supposed to have a lot of power. But this one right here is supposed to have a lot of power. And uh, you know what? Let's take it out of the box and see what we got here. Let's see if I can do this here and not spill everything out of the box. Here we go. Okay, so you got an owner's manual put that down there for now but this right here okay oh that is sweet i like the way that looks i mean the cool factor alone now you would think that you would open it from here no you don't that's your selector for which barrel you're going to use from what i gather left for the left barrel right for the right barrel or if you put it in the center a little stiff there you can shoot both barrels at the same time as i said this is 16 joules um supposed to be really nice and powerful it feels it's got a nice little weight to it real nice weight to it now the plastic it's okay it's okay with me. I'm going to put a rubber sleeve on here to give it a little more grip, texture, like what have you. But from what I can see, it doesn't look bad. It opens up this way. You pull here, and there you got your, your uh, opening. You put your rounds in here, close it up. You put a CO2 here, and uh, the puncture of the CO2. And uh, another reason that I got this is the reason that I got the burner. The ease of use. Um, the burner, you don't have to fiddle around trying to screw this in or whatever and then shoot it. You just basically, you pull the trigger and your first shot punctures the CO2 and hey, like you're ready to go. That first shot, I mean, just shoots. You don't have to try to fiddle around with charging it or what have you. This here, little, a little bit more uh, work to do. You put your CO2 in here, hit the bottom. It's going to 
your indicator here is going to come up and that's going to show you that uh, the gun uh, CO, CO2 um, air gun is uh, charged and then you're able to shoot it. So I was thinking, you know what, let's give this a shot now. I heard that the rubber rounds work really good in here. The um, nylon rounds sometimes can be a little bit of a um, an issue sometimes like uh, from what this one person said that if it'll fit, it'll shoot it. So anyway, um, what I have here, I got these rounds from uh, eBay. I forget which kind they are. I'll put it in the description later. But we're going to see if one of these will fit. Got a hundred of them. Got them for a pretty good deal. So here, going to take it there. Put a round in there. Fits fine. Going to put another round in. So you got two rounds. Now, close it up. And if you charged it, it would be ready to go. We're going to give this a try. Now, some of you might think, well, it's only got two shots. Heck, a double barrel shotgun only has two shots. But after the first shot, nobody wants to stick around for the second one. If this works the way that I think it will, with good shot placement, your first shot might be the only one that you need. <laughs> okay, so let's oh, let's open it up. Wait a minute, I got an, an Allen key that came with it. Here we go. Let's open that, that up. Okay. And you put your CO2s in, not uh, head first, let's say, but this way, okay? Because when you hit this to pierce the CO2, this has got to be facing downward, I guess you would say. Now, let me go get some... Uh, some oil to put on that before we uh, put it in because it is a brand new uh, CO2 uh, shotgun, <laughs> double barrel shotgun. So let's do that and I'll be right back and we'll give it a couple of shots and see how it works. I'll be right back. Okay, you would think after doing all these videos, I'd have everything in place so I wouldn't have to go inside and grab something. Nah, getting old, almost 60 years old, but hey, for 60, not too bad. <laughs> all right, that's the money shot. All right, let's try this again. Here we go. Put that there. Put one in here. We're going to tighten that, that up. Again, when I saw this, I just thought it was just so cool. And I just thought I got to have one. I've been debating on it for a while. Someone said you can tighten them up by, by, by hand and that's enough. But I'm going to give it a little. There, that should be good. Now, to puncture this, you're supposed to hit the bottom. And as you see there, right here. That's your indicator that your that your uh, air gun is charged. Okay. Now I heard this is really loud. All right. So, well. Anyway, my neighbor should be woke at this time, so it shouldn't be too bad. I'm gonna shoot the right bar barrel first. I got my target right there. And uh, okay, here we go. That's loud. Okay. Trying the left barrel now. Oh yeah, that's really loud. <laughs> I like that. Now some of you that are into planking might not like that, but if I was going to use this for self-defense, I'd want to draw as much attention as possible because bad guys do not want to draw attention. Okay? But so far, thing has got a little oomph to it. Let's open it up and let's try both barrels. I'm real curious about that. Okay, 
And these rounds are working pretty well, too. I'm trying to remember what kind of rounds these are. They're, are they not the home wrecker rounds? I've got those, but these were a different type. I saw them on Amazon. And uh, you know how Amazon will put the product you're getting and then it'll put one, two, three. Like these things go with it if you want to purchase those two. I did that. I got some extra CO2. I got some extra rounds. So let's give this a shot. Let's give this another shot. But you know what? I'm going to try this foam instead. Now, this is some packing foam that I got from one of my wife's uh, projects she had me to work on. Um, flower bed, you know. Uh, so, that was some of the packing stuff. And actually, it's pretty thick, as you can see. Let's take a shot at it. Well, first of all, let's use... Uh, oh, heck, we're just going to do both barrels. Let's do that. I'll be right back. Now, this is actually supposed to have some pretty good power. And uh, from what I can tell, it's got some power. Okay, firing both barrels. Whoa. Let me tell you. And it is smoking CO2 out the top here. If you had to use this for self-defense, trust me, if somebody got hit with that, I don't care. I don't care how big you are. Good shot placement. That's going to make somebody back off real quick. If not, just fall down um, in pain. Lots of pain. Let's take a look at that. I'm going to go grab that real quick. Okay, as I've said before in many of my videos, you would not want to be standing in front of that. What are you looking at here? Pass right through it. And you got to realize, some people might say that's not that impressive, okay? But the deal is, it's not meant to be a firearm, okay? It's not, like a firearm is meant for penetration, okay? For self-defense, to hit vital organs and what have you okay you're trying to stop the threat okay um anyway this here is supposed to be non-lethal but that's going right through all that foam and that foam is some pretty good foam there i mean that's pretty pretty tight it's passing all the way through let's see if i can get my finger to come all the way through both of those rounds okay and when you shoot both barrels it cuts the power down from what i understand to half in each barrel in other words if it's shooting at 300 and some feet per second it's going to be 100 and some feet per second for both something like that i'm still getting all of the specs down but the bottom line went right through this went right through the cardboard there Almost came out the other end, but I've got metal that's on uh, the other side, my swing there, and that made it bounce back. But the bottom line is you would not want to be standing in front of this. So this is the 16 joules version. And I got to say, I was a little hesitant about getting it, but now that I got it, I like it. I like I think this is going to be a very good companion to my HD launcher. There we go. I think that's going to be a very good companion to that. Wow. Okay. Anyway, people, thinking I might do another shot. <laughs> yeah, let's do another one. Here we go. You know what? I forget. I'm used to traditional guns whatever i oh i went to click this to the side and tried to break it open i gotta remember that's not the way that this opens that's the barrel selector <laughs> gotta open it this way there you go what i like about this is the simplicity of it that's what i like very simple to use put one two rounds in close it you can also use different rounds i hear you can use uh the rubber rounds you can even use the uh, pepper rounds 
I haven't tried any of those. I'm curious to try those maybe next. You know what? Let's take a couple out of my burner after I shoot this. And let's just see if some of the pepper rounds will actually function. Hey, why not? Okay, we're going to shoot this again. Now, the one thing about this version here that's got more power, you're not going to get as many shots, okay? So I'm thinking anywhere between, from what I heard, uh, you might get 10 good shots or whatever. But that's okay with me because this right here is going to be added to my non-lethal self-defense collection. Although this bad boy is hitting really hard. I'd have to be very careful with that. The same thing with my burner though. Anytime you even use something that's non-lethal, you don't just want to use it because somebody, their dog pooped on your grass, okay? It's in a self-defense situation. So, okay, let's try this again. Right barrel. Wait a minute, I got that. Right barrel. Wow. My wife is going to kill me because that is shooting right through that. And it's hitting that metal. You can hear how hard that's hitting the metal. Let's try that once again. I'll just use some paint. She'll never know unless she watches the video. Don't tell her. Dang, I gotta say that is that is that is freaking awesome. All right, let's go. Let's okay now. Just for the sake of doing it, let's try the pepper rounds and see if they'll function. Okay, I got my burner here. And uh, my pepper rounds, where did I put them? They're going to be inside the house again. Guys, give me one more minute. Give me, a, give me a few seconds. I'll be right back. Here we go. Got my other mag for uh, my burner. Take a couple of the pepper rounds out. Let's see if they'll actually function. Hopefully I don't get any backdraft or whatever. Hopefully the wind is going this way. Seems to be going that way. So here we go. Let's open it up. Gotta say I'm really loving this. I mean the simplicity of it. Okay, the pepper rounds do fit. There we go. Now, just to be on the safe side, and I probably should have done this from, from uh, the beginning. Let me see if I got some of my safety glasses like inside. I would hate for this to burst in here and me to get some of that back at me because that would not be a good video. Hang on one second, people. I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's try that again. Safety glasses. All right. What do I want to shoot? Okay. I'm going to shoot first barrel. Let's get a harder target. This right here. See how that's going to work. All right, shooting the right barrel first. Here we go. Wow, it's working so far. Shooting the left barrel. Wow, I am seriously impressed. This is. This is nice, I gotta say. Um, wow. Getting a little bit of that back draft now. <coughs> Whew. Not as bad as before because I got the mask on. When I made a mistake and burst one of the pepper rounds like in the house, I had to run out the house. I mean, my nose was running, throat was burning. I, anyway, 
This here, people, might be a great, ugh, starting to get with some of that pepper bag, a great, um, great option for self-defense. I mean, simple to use, lots of power. Let me get that board for you. Wow. Granted, this is nothing but press board, but look at that. I mean, that's some serious damage. It's almost coming out the back there. You know what? I want to try some of the uh, the nylon rounds. Let me let me just try a couple of those just to see what kind of damage we do uh, we got here because uh, um, the pepper rounds because they I mean they're pepper like it's like ooh man I hate that stuff. Um, they're not going to hit as hard like as your nylon rounds. Yeah, that stuff is nasty. We're going to do this one more time using the uh, these here, the nylon rounds, and we're going to call it a day because I am getting a little bit, bit of that back on me, that, uh, that dust. And even from this distance, I can still feel the effects. Not as bad as if I got hit direct with one of these. You don't want to get hit with one of those. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a good thing. Okay, let's try it one more time. See how much power we still have. Shooting the right barrel. That's going right through. Shooting the left barrel. People, you want to be really careful with this one. This has got some serious power. I mean, wow. I mean, granted, it's not a firearm. It's not going to have that kind of power, but but for something non-lethal for self-defense, that's right on the borderline. All right, let me bring the board over and show you the results here. Now, I'm only shooting from about 15 feet. I practice 15, 20 feet because for self-defense, that's what you're, I mean, like you're looking at, like for the most part, even for home defense. I'm not putting it out 50 yards or whatever because... Um, I'm target shooting like at that, uh, like at that range. If I even have my handgun and I shot someone at 50 yards away, that's going to be, I mean, even as, even in a self-defense situation, and that would be the only time that I would do it, it'd be really hard to explain in a court of law, well, sir, he was 150 feet away with you. How, how was he still a threat? It'd be really hard to explain. That's why for the most part, I practice within self-defense distances. Anywhere between point blank to 10, 15 to 20 feet. Okay. But look at that. I mean, that's going right through that. And granted, it's press board. But can you imagine what it's going to do if that, I mean, even a center mass chest shot, even if a person had on a, a let's say, a medium sized coat, that's going to hurt like hell. And Lord forbid, a head or face shot. Wow. But again, we're talking self-defense where your life or the lives of your loved ones are in danger. So, I don't know about you, but uh, wow. I'm impressed. So, again, this is my... Let me get all these letters right because every one of these self-defense things has so many. <laughs> this is my uh, Umarex T4E. SDS double barrel 0.68 caliber shotgun for home defense or self defense. Uh, this, this thing is nice. You guys got to look it up. Um, hey, want to thank you for watching. Um, as always, if you like what you're seeing, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, God bless and peace.